the prices, the international prices, where they are today, and where we are on this regulated gasoline price in the pump, it's not that far off. So there will be an increase, but that increase is not going to be a drastic increase. Therefore, we don't encourage people to panic. But it's interesting that very few have calculated, I have asked many people, and if you think about it for yourself, do you know what is your budget for gasoline every month? No one knows. The reason it's so little, it's like, it's not something that we worry about every day. And it shouldn't be something that we worry about every day, even after the liberation. But if everyone is calculating what they pay today on average for one car and look at the price next week, next Tuesday, look at the new price, multiply the number of liters that they put in their cars, I think they will figure out that the number is so small, it's not worth all of this panic. But it will create a shift in the mindset that this commodity, it's like any other commodity, goes up and goes down. It will drive the consumers to use wisely the uh, finite resources that we have. We are expecting diesel to come down. And that should be a positive effect to the economy, to the commodities, to the construction. People are saying, how do you ensure that? Well, we have the Ministry of Finance, we have the, the consumer uh, rights, uh, uh, and, and we will work with them to ensure that they do their job and they ensure that, that uh, there is no increase and there is a studied, uh, studies on what is, the, what is the contribution of diesel or fuel in each of those sectors. The, uh, the committee is chaired by, uh, the pricing committee is chaired by the undersecretary in the Ministry of Energy and the members is the undersecretary of Ministry of Finance from those are the government representatives. And then we have the distribution companies, the CEOs of the distribution companies. Every end of the month, on the 28th of the month, there will be a calculation of the actual gasoline price and diesel price. There are benchmarks, international benchmarks. There is the Mediterranean, there is uh, the Rotterdam, and there is Singapore. So we will choose a, a, uh, a weighted average certain markets that today they are, they are buying from, and we will take the average of the month of the actual price of the commodity itself, the gasoline and the diesel. Then we negotiated with them a, how much it costs to transport and uh, operate, operation cost, and distribute each liter of diesel and each liter of gasoline. That fixed amount is going to be added to the, to the moving price, which is going to move every month. That price for the month of August, for example, is going to be set by 28th of July. Averaging July is going to be the price of August. For the whole month of August, it's not going to be changing every day. It will change every month. Next month, we'll take the average of August and that's going to be the price of September, and likewise. If we're talking about the nationals, it's not going to affect them. For the majority of the expats, the high-income expats, it's not going to be something major. For the low-income expats, who gets 2,000 dirhams, 3,000 dirhams, and they are driving cars, they will have a choice to make. Because a if 100 dirham or 200 dirhams is not affecting you as an expat, you will still drive your car. If 100 dirham or 200 dirhams or 300 dirhams increase is going to affect you to lose your car, that's a decision you will make. But I don't think it will impact those high income people. In any society around the world, any civilized society, you find those people with low income people, they use the public transportation except here in the Emirates 
or here in the Gulf. Everyone drives a car. We have 3 million cars in the street, and the growth is around 9% every year. That is not sustainable. So we are not putting this or removing the subsidy because we want people to use the public transportation. We're saying some people will make that choice at certain time. I don't think it's soon because the prices, the differential or the increase in the price is not going to be major for, for the, the current commodity prices. But in the future, that could happen. And if it happens, then people need to make a rational choice.